Feeling good today. Car ride here was electric. This hardest you did was what? Car ride here was electric. I thought you I was... said hardest I've thrown was 100. I didn't no. say, yeah. what was that, last week? I have a uh, secret identity, I throw 100. Yeah. Right, like almost half rotating at the end. Replace the shoulders, front shoulders leading, back yeah. shoulder finishes. All right. Same mechanics, same tempo, same everything, just finish. Yeah. Nice. Hey, if you're finding it difficult to get to your extension, yeah. back off a little bit and over-exaggerate this, yeah. and then build your way back up to where you are right now. When you right. just cut it loose to get loose, I was the same way. I liked throwing hard when I was warming up, yeah. but when it wasn't on, it was so difficult to get that release point or get that extension out in front because we're just exploding, exploding, exploding. Yeah. Back off a little bit, see if you can get to it. Once right. you do, build your way back up. All right. Perfect. A few curveballs. Almost. So we're on yeah. top, on top, on top, and then we're trying to do this just with our arm. Notice how your finish was like this. Yeah. Notice how your finish with your fastball is like this. Yeah. Right? Use your body to get over top of that baseball, not just right. your arm. There it is. Bingo. I'm going to get my predictions on the camera, then we're going to see how right I am at the end. All right. So Anderson's going to sit 85, 86 today. He's going to run a couple up to 87, 88, and he's going to itch and want more. And I'm going to have to tell him that we have to stop the bullpen because we're 25 pitches in. That's my guess. Was it good or bad? It was good. We'll see. Come on, you think I would say anything bad about you on camera? I don't know. No, just back in the weight room when nobody else is listening. A couple flat to get loose? Yeah. All right, here we go. Four seam. Yep. Oh, yeah. I think it's the same thing as warm-ups, like I'm missing high. And so, outside, right? like, when you when you go faster, yeah. sometimes we stay back better because we're so fast right here, and there's not a lot of time spent here before we go down. Yeah. When we try to go too slow, yeah. you start going forward as your leg is lifting, yeah. which makes it really, really difficult by the time you get to here yeah. to finish. So I'm not yeah. saying slow down, slow down, slow down. Just be aware of every moving part that you have. So, right. hey, I'm going to get my leg up with the same tempo that I normally do. Yeah. That's going to keep me back. I don't have to think about that. Uh -huh. But then I'm going to over-exaggerate the last piece of my delivery. All right. Lock it in here. Good to go when we get up, when we get up on the mound. Better. You notice how afterwards it's like we find ourselves in this position, yeah. no problem, yeah. instead of this position and the ball's taken off on us. Yeah. It's good. One more. So much better. Yeah, we're good. So much better. All right, so I think you benefit from a fast tempo. You benefit by getting up and going. Yeah. When you get up and go, sometimes you're so eager to throw the pitch. Yeah. Like, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but we fall. Yeah. And we fall, and we get to this position right here like this instead of how we normally are like this. Yeah. And it's just we can't get on top of the baseball. So you yeah. feel like you're putting more effort into it, yeah. and then we look at the rap soto, yeah. and the number's down. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden you stay back, yeah. and you feel like you put less effort into it, and the number's up, yeah. using more of our body. Okay. First one of the day, 88. Take it. One for one so far. In control, put it in the zone. Woo! There you go. So you didn't back off how much effort you tried to put into it, yeah. but you were so much more in control over the rubber. 88 miles an hour as a strike, instead of 88 miles an hour, I'm trying to hit the target at the state fair and win the big stuffed animal. <laughs> yeah. Really good. All right. Nice, Jake. When is the last time you were sitting basically 87 to 89? The answer to that is never. 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 Okay. And when is the last time you've been that explosive and also had the confidence that the ball was going to go into the strike zone? Never. All right. Yeah. You've had really good bullpens in here. I've seen you pitch before too, mm -hmm. and you've had really good outings. Yeah. Right. But 
we almost get into our heads of, oh man, I have to be so perfect, or yeah. the rubber. Like, you don't look like that at all. You yeah, look I'm like you're just, right now, yeah. your, your tempo is really good, you're exploding, you're staying back, you're getting down the mound, you're filling up the strike zone. Mm -hmm. Last two pitch, or last three pitches, strikes, 87-88. Yeah, all right, let's go. Good. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to change up now. Almost. Don't feel rushed with the change up. Yeah. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Yeah. Just like you're not squeezing the crap out of the baseball mm -hmm. because that's going to make you tense, that's going to make you stiff. Yeah. Same thing with our mechanics. Not moving super fast. You are trying to keep the same arm speed as your fastball. Yeah. But you're not trying to throw this change up 90 miles an hour. Yeah. All right. Right? Yep. You did it before I even said it. What? Right? Stayed through. So yeah. think about that like back leg coming through at the very end going forward instead of that back leg swinging through yeah. and our chest coming backwards. Yeah. You stayed through that pitch better. Yeah. You're trying to change about 82 miles an hour. You're sitting 87, 88, uh -huh. right? Crazy movement yeah. in the strike zone uh -huh. and probably felt the most confident behind that throw. I know that that was the one that was in the zone out of all your pitches, mm -hmm. but it probably felt effortless coming out of your hand because yeah. your whole body was incorporated behind it, yeah. right? Uh, Don't stop once our foot hits. Keep going. One more changeup. All right. Cool. Hung that one. It's good. Move the uh, slide. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. All right, so go one more curveball. Here's what I want you to challenge yourself to do. So the two curveballs before that last one were bottom of the zone, bottom of the zone. I want you to imagine 0-2 count right now. Guys are sitting dead right on your fastball or else you're going to blow an 88, 89 right past them. Uh -huh. So they're geared up ready for a fastball. All of your fastballs that have been in the zone have been bottom of the zone, bottom of the zone, bottom of the zone. When you throw this curveball, I want you to start it on the same line as those as those fastballs. Okay. Right? Don't yep. be worried about spiking in the ground. We're trying to put this ball in the dirt. Uh, be aggressive, same release, just starting it lower. Okay? So here's what we're gonna do. You're at 26 pitches. We'll top at 30 today. So you got four pitches left. Okay. Let's go fastball, slider, fastball, fastball. All right, cool. All right? Yep. Oh, oh, fastball mentality. Get it in the zone. Definitely don't back off. Be aggressive. Nice. Good. Now, remember those mechanics. Remember that tempo. Remember everything you just did. Yeah. Right? Imagine what you're trying to do with your slider. So show me right now, at the very end of your delivery, what are you trying to do? So you're trying to get there. So instead of just worrying about our wrist, yeah. Get to this position, and once that wrist starts to turn, yeah. continue that movement with the rest of your arm. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Right, staying through the target. All right. Here we go. Better. I think if I get it up a little more, maybe. Like, I don't know. Where's your starting point? The, uh, so, that so gray let me dot ask you this question. It. Are you more focused on where you're starting your slider or are you more focused on where your slider is going to end up? Where it's going to end up. Where it's going to end up. That's, yeah. All right, so let's try this. Let's go slider. Come set. Yeah. So you're so focused on getting the ball down here, you're going to, right? Every pitch that you've thrown, we've ended up short with the slider over here. Imagine this area right here. All right. Keep your same spin the same way you finish with that pitch, but just focus here and right. let the pitch do the rest of the work. Okay. Sweating today. Nice. There it is. Atta boy. Yeah. Right? Like, just having trust in your pitches. It's not your first time throwing a slider. You know your slider moves X amount. Yeah. Right? When yeah. you're so focused on how it's going to end, you start changing little pieces of your delivery, even if it's not noticeable that is gonna cause that pitch to yank to the left. Mm -hmm. Or you're gonna to try to throw a slider that moves this much instead of sticking to your slider that moves yeah. this much, uh -huh. right? This is more than enough movement with the stuff that you have. Mm -hmm. You don't need a slider that starts at his head and ends up yeah. way out here. Yeah. Four seam fastball, got it loose. All right. <sighs> Woo! Good bullpen, bud. Oh, that, that was 88, 89, yeah. 88. Uh -huh. 87, 87, 88, 88, 87, 88. So, so think about it. Last week you topped what? 88. Yeah. 
and this week you're sitting 88. Yeah. So I was slightly wrong on my prediction. I don't know what it was. What was it? I said I, I said you were going to sit like 85, 86, and you were going to pop a couple 87, 88s. And I was wrong because you sat 87, 88, and he popped an 89. Look at that. I'm happy I'm wrong when that's, the, when that's what ends up happening. I'll be wrong every single time. Let's do this again next week. I'll predict that you sit 88, 88, mm -hmm. and then you pop a couple 91, 92s. Chop, dude. Thank you very Let's much. Very Let's nice.